Hey there, I'm Lance and I'm a gamer. And I'm Sam and I'm a non-gamer. And we are Love to Hate, where we try to help gamers find great games to play with non-gamers. Today we're looking at Turf Wars, but the Trick or Treat expansion by Gad About Games. Last year we were uh, privileged enough to be able to get to preview Turf Wars from Gad About Games for their Kickstarter, and they were successful on running that and fulfilling it to backers. Well, now they're back at it with an expansion with a Halloween theme to it called Trick or Treat. And just in that name, it already tells you a little bit what this expansion adds. Tricks or treats, depending on well, how prepared you are and how able you are to uh, handle some neighbors that come along, some trick-or-treaters. I'll explain to you a little bit of what this new expansion adds down below, and then we'll come back and share our thoughts on it as a gamer and non-gamer. All right, I have Turf War on the table with the Trick or Treat expansion. Now, in this video, I am not going to go over the basic rules for the base game of Turf War. I've already done that in our previous preview video that we did on their first Kickstarter. In this video, I am just going over the Trick or Treat expansion. So let me show you what you have in this box. Now, as you can see here, this is the setup for a normal game, a base game of Turf War, where you have your 3 by 3 grid of dirt cards, which make up your yard, you have your home, your garage, your money. You also have a new resource in the Trick or Treat expansion. This is candy. Now candy is going to be kept track of the same way as the money is with these two cards. Uh, and you can see here that money is going, or excuse me, candy is going to give you one point for every three at the end of the game. And an action that you can do on your turn is you can pay three money for one candy. So why do you want candy? What is candy good for? Well, I will get to that here in just a second, but let me show you what new cards you have in the Trick or Treat expansion. You have new cards for your market, lots of new cards, obviously, as you can see, and you're going to just shuffle that into your deck of cards from the base game. To give you some examples of what you find in the Trick or Treat expansion, here are a couple of plants. You can see here the Mandrake Root, which this says you may trash this uh, tra you may trash this to trash all cards from the store. Uh, then you have a pumpkin here, which says when you trash this from anywhere, gain candy. So that is a way to gain candy. Uh, you also have new tools here. You've got the voodoo doll and the monkey paw. The monkey paw says until you can't or you reveal an event, play the top card of the store deck onto your yard. The voodoo doll here says pay one to uh, play a pest from the store onto any yard. And uh, you can see here that these cards do uh, have a, an icon on them to denote them as part of the expansion. And so you are going to play with these tools in the uh, new game. Uh, and here are a couple of ornaments. We've got a gravestone and jack-o'-lantern, uh, a couple of uh, features, a foreboding gate and a cauldron. Some new events, unmasking, which is going to let you change out some of the neighbors. Uh, apple bobbing, each player gains candy per neighbor in their sway, so it rewards you for getting those neighbors. Um, some new pests, we have spiders and black cats. So you can see all of this fits into the Halloween theme, but really here is what you are really getting with this Trick or Treat expansion. You get Trick or Treaters, which these are new events and neighbors. They're a combination of the two things, and you're going to have uh, an option here. You will either have a negative effect, which is the top part right here, or you can pay candy to sway this neighbor, putting them in your sway pile and gaining the respective points for them at the end of the game. So it's a good thing if you have candy on hand to be able to pay off these trick-or-treaters. Otherwise, something bad is going to happen and you can see how that will adversely affect you. Now, all these cards are going to come up in this deck here. You do also have new neighbors. You've got five new neighbors to work with, and I'll leave you to discover them on the Kickstarter there, but you can see that they're, again, fitting with the Halloween theme. Uh, you've got some mad scientists, witches, a mummy, a Dracula, and a Frankenstein there. And uh, that's that. That's what you are going to primarily have in this new expansion. The big things being the candy resource and the trick-or-treaters preparing yourself for them and trying to pay them off to join your sway. And there you have it. That is the Trick or Treat expansion for Turf War. Let's go back up top and share our thoughts on this one.
And we're back, and now we're gonna share our thoughts on the Trick or Treat expansion to Turf Wars from a gamer and non-gamer's perspective. And if you wanna know our thoughts on the base game Turf Wars, you can click that I in the top right corner and it will take you to our preview video that we did on Turf Wars for their first Kickstarter campaign. So in this, we're just gonna share our thoughts on this new expansion here. And uh, Sam, uh, this is a two-player game. We talked about how Turf Wars was just a really cool little compact game. It's probably one of our yeah. tiniest games I that love we've ever. How small it yeah. is. Yeah, and Turf Wars Trick or Treat is just as small. Yeah. It's even smaller. The box is yeah. even smaller, if you can tell on 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 film there. Um, and so it keeps with that tiny compact yeah. idea. It adds you extra just cards. Take it. Yeah. To go. <laughs> right. Exactly. Um, now this this expansion here adds in some new elements. You have a new resource. You've got candy, right? And that really plays into the theme. And you're going to use that candy resource to be able to help you deal with the trick or treaters yeah. that come along. And so, what for you? What did you think about that uh, element? I think to this it game? really does add the trick or treat element to it. The tricks are frustrating. <laughs> it can be for sure. Um, it does. It really, it adds a lot to this game. If you feel like Turf Wars just didn't have enough for you, yeah. I feel like this is a great expansion to just go up the next level or two because you do have to work harder because those tricks take away yeah. cards or spaces and things like that. And it really makes it, you, you got to work harder and you have to compensate for that. Yeah. You definitely need to be more prepared in terms of your strategy and, and just being on top of your game. Uh, Turf Wars was an interesting concept because it's it's you against that other player and it's just a head-to-head -head battle. Yeah, this kind of This adds... adds an element where the game is actively attacking you and yeah. working against you kind of thing. So now not only am I playing against Sam, but I'm also playing against the game itself too. And she's having to do the same thing. So it's not like it's unbalanced yeah. and it's working only against one player. But it really kind of increases your 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 need to be on top of your game and prepared and getting that candy resource so that you can handle those trick or treaters and use it as a benefit, a boon for yourself rather than something that's taken away from yeah. you. I like that. For me, it makes this game that we talked about being a really great game to play with non gamers, a game that can be really great for for just between gamers yeah. kind of experience. I do feel like that. I feel like as a non gamer. I don't want to make games more difficult, okay. uh, but I do understand the need for something like this. I feel like it does help the gamer to just enjoy it a little bit more if this version just wasn't enough for them. Yeah. And after playing this enough times, I think gamer or non-gamers as well can appreciate pushing themselves a bit. Yeah, for sure. Um, I love that it's very thematic and it really you know brings in a Halloween theme into the game. Uh, it does that in spades, I feel like. And so if you're somebody that just really likes to have uh, holiday type games the, to match the time of the year, then this is a great way yeah. to add that into a really cool game that, uh, as we talked about, is very compact and doesn't take up a whole lot of space and it's really unique yeah. kind of experience. So. Um, one that you would recommend playing with non-gamers? Yeah, I think it's great. Okay. Uh, we had a great time with it. Would highly recommend for you to check out that Kickstarter campaign link down below now that you've watched our video. Make sure to like and subscribe and push that bell button so you get notifications of all our new content. I'm Lance. I'm Sam. And we are Love to Hate, where we try to bridge the gap between gamers and non-gamers. We'll catch you next time.